Hi, this is Chris with Laughter on Water. Every once in a while, I visit GiveawayTheDay.com. While I found some decent deals there on occasion, one thing bothers me about the advertisement placement on sites like this. Notice that right next to the currently available free download from GOTD, there's a huge button that says Download. If you don't read the small print or notice that it's an advertisement, you'll probably click the link thinking you're about to download content talked about on the very page that you're on with GOTD. Instead, it takes you to a different website for a different piece of software that you probably didn't mean to download. Yeah, I know most people are pretty savvy about advertisement links like this, but the fact remains the ad was explicitly designed to fool unsuspecting and impatient visitors to quickly click the download button. This is an above-the-fold advertisement next to information about the preferred download. The real download link for this giveaway of the day is further down the page. I have to wonder if there is some measure of complicity on the part of GOTD for allowing the actual download to live below the fold. I have great respect for creative advertising, but I'm leery of intentionally misleading advertising. Advertisers who stoop to this level are often the same advertisers that include batch-installed crapware like browser toolbars that change your browser's default search engine to some wacky no-name Google look-alike search engine and offer free trialware that includes wart software, entirely unwanted and unasked for helper tools that also get installed, sometimes without even asking. When an advertiser has to resort to this creepy methodology, it's very likely you don't want or need this software in the first place or the wart software that it tries to install itself along the way. I'm not advocating legislation to prevent this kind of madness, but it would certainly be better if AdSense and other ad agencies would suggest ethical guidelines for businesses that use their placement services and suggest the same businesses adhere to those guidelines. For instance, Newegg sometimes appears at GOTD and the ad is obviously an ad. If I click the Newegg ad, I know I'm going to go to Newegg.com. What do you think? Write a comment. Subscribe. This is Chris with Laughter on Water. Thanks for watching.